She admits to killing her three-year-old son and hiding his body under her sterling mobile home. This afternoon, Juanita Kinza learned she will spend the next 32 years behind bars. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez joining us now from Sterling, and Lance Kinsey spoke at that hearing. Yeah, Juanita Kinsey apologized for what she did, then pointed a finger of blame at one of her adopted sisters, the one who worked for more than a year to get social services involved in this case. I want to take this opportunity to say to him and his family that I am so sorry for this. And I hope someday they can find it in their hearts to forgive me. An emotional Juanita Kinsey told the court that if she could bring her son back, she would. But many in the courtroom doubted the sincerity of her apology. I think the only thing she's sorry about is that when she got caught... Felicia Hilscher is one of the doubters. I truly believe that if I hadn't called the Sheriff's Department when I did that morning and made the report that I did and said, hey, get moving, she, Caleb would still be under the trailer and Juanita would be walking free. Kinsey's attorney says his client was physically and sexually abused as a child, then abandoned. We all had parents like that. But we all have our kids. Still to this day, they're not under a trailer house in Sterling, Colorado. Kinsey's attorney says his client turned to her sister, Yolanda, for help with Caleb, but that Yolanda played mind games. Yolanda, who was not allowed to speak in court today, was incredulous. I guess I should have been the one on trial, not her, because I'm the one that caused Caleb's death in her eyes. The judge accepted the plea deal and sentenced Kinsey to 32 years. Family members don't think that was enough. I said, I don't want to take her life. I don't want the death penalty. But I would like to see justice for Caleb in the life sentence without parole. Juanita Kinsey was addicted to drugs and alcohol when Caleb was killed. Her attorney told the court she is now in rehab and attending Bible studies. Live in Sterling, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.